Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today, I wanted to talk about the Anvil Legionnaire. It's a new style of military boarding ship for Star Citizen, which is currently in its concept phase. It allows up to 10 Marines, well, 8 in the sort of jump seats and then you've got another 2 crew, um, to board an enemy ship. Its preferred method of doing this is hacking the docking ports of the ship being assaulted and then boarding using its rapid assault docking collar. The ship is small, heavily armoured and has a trio of small shield generators making it a fantastic boarding ship. The ship is available from $100 at the moment in its concept phase, which is extremely cheap in terms of Star Citizen ships, especially when you consider other types of dropship. I mean, it's not exactly a dropship, but it is similar enough. The ship is currently planned to be around 32 by 23 by 10 meters, which is actually pretty small. It's a bit longer than most fighters due to its like docking collar, but it's smaller than a cutlass, say. There are two remote turrets on the ship, each supporting two size two weapons. There's a turret on the center top of the ship, and there's a turret at the rear of the ship as well to shoot, you know, people that are following the, the ship or to generally support it with its boarding or dropship type action. Because it's very suitable as a dropship as well. Um, it's just maybe some other dropships might be more focused at being dropships rather than boarding ships, but this could do a bit of both. And because it's small and cheap, it's actually pretty exciting for me. However, I do, I'm really into it because it's a more focused boarding ship rather than a dropship. But let's take a look at some of the other deeper information on the ship from a recent Q&A that Cloud Imperium put out. What happens if the target ship quantum jumps while the Legionnaire is docked with it. The Legionnaire will quantum with it, which is the same as any ship that is docked with another. What is the planned range of the Legionnaire's hacking capabilities? This is still to be determined based on testing, but expect it to be relatively close, a few kilometers, not dozens or hundreds. What can be hacked on the target vessel? The Legionnaire's systems are dedicated to specific and directed tasks of overriding and overcoming the docking and air traffic control systems of the target ship, which in universe is a sufficient challenge by itself. They are not able to address the other command systems of the target ship. What conditions must be met for the Legionnaire to dock? The conditions are the same as current ship-to-ship -ship docking as featured on the Constellation and the Merlin, so the ship must be aligned and orientated correctly. This can be done at any speed, although the slower the better. The only difference is that Legionnaire can override the docking permission system, usually controlled by the target's ship. Basically, it sounds like the Legionnaire doesn't need permission to dock, it can just override that permission. Can players counter the Legionnaire's hacking ability? The hacking mechanic is intended to have gameplay for both sides, hacking and counter-hacking. In instances with no other player present, attempting to board an NPC ship, or non-Legionnaire scenarios such as hacking environmental setups, the counter role is performed by AI. What hangar and landing pad sizes will the Legionnaire use? The dimensions of the Legionnaire will fit in what is termed as an extra small XS hangar or pad, which is the same classification as single seater ships from the Arrow to the Prospector. It will fit in a range of ships from the Polaris to the Idris. Can the Legionnaire also be used against ships that do not have an airlock or via destroyed turret points? At this point in time, we're only committing to be able to breach dedicated airlock entry points, both the smaller and large varieties. While we would like manned turrets to be valid breach points in the future via EVA, it's not currently planned to allow automated docking systems to dock with them. Will the docking port tunnel on the Legionnaire provide any cover for its boarding team? There are deployable covers built into the tunnel to help the boarding team make it to the target. Does the Legionnaire have crew facilities, beds, storage, kitchen, toilet, etc.? No, the ship is designed to complete a mission and return to base, not stay out for extended durations. What equipment can be transported for the boarding team? There is space on board to store heavy and special weapons and heavy armor. We are working with the core gameplay pillar team to ensure that if heavy armor cannot be worn in the seats, as normal seats will have this restriction, then it is in the least impactful place to allow for quick equipping before boarding an enemy vessel. Does the Legionnaire have any measures to disguise itself from early detection? No. There's no dedicated features for this. The Legionnaire relies on its shields and armor to get to its target. 
Are the hacking and boarding mechanics unique to the Legionnaire, or will they be available on other electronic warfare platforms? The combination of hacking and boarding is part of the Legionnaire's default setup and behavior, so while other ships may be able to get the hacking ability, it would be at the cost of other blade-controlled electronic warfare roles, whereas the Legionnaire has it built in. For example, you could upgrade the Vanguard Sentinel to support ATC, air traffic control hacking, but you'd need to manually EVA over to board after that. How manoeuvrable will the Legionnaire be compared to the Cutlass Steel, the Prowler, Vanguard Hoplite, and the Valkyrie? Its manoeuvrability will be closest to the Steel, but as the ship progresses during development, we'll adjust it as necessary to reflect its much heavier armour. How heavy is the armour compared to other ships, considering it might take hits from much larger vessels as it's trying to board those like bigger ships? It's designed to take significant fire on approach, so it's relatively heavily armoured compared to other dropships and much closer to other anvil ships like the Terrapin. Who controls the turrets and shields while the Legionnaire is in flight and docked? The ship is designed for two crew. The co-pilot is in control of one of the turrets, as well as the hacking system. The pilot has control of the other turret, which is slave to his view, and um, both can manage the shields. Will the boarding and hacking mechanics be possible with an NPC crew, or do we need real players? NPC co-pilots will be able to do the role if no human is present, as this is required for counter-hacking gameplay on NPC ships regardless. Will it get specialised bounty seats or cells for holding captured enemies? No, there's no functionality of this type on board the Legionnaire. And they didn't give it any further details if there was any form of sort of modularity with the ship. It does seem to be focused at this one task. You should still be able to change all its weapon systems and change its components up so you can be more specialised in one area rather than another. Interestingly, the ship has some work that's planned for it that actually wraps up by the end of this year. It's um, uh, various sort of teams are going to be working on it in between now and then. So we don't have a sort of hard timeline for its release yet, but um, Clan Imperium do have a much quicker, more optimised pipeline for ships now because it's got work going on uh, that finishes at the end of the year. We could have it done reasonably quickly. We could see it in-game end of sort of Q1 or Q2 2023 in my opinion, but that's not a confirmation and we will have to wait and see. Anyway, that's it for your Anvil Legionnaire boarding ship, but what do you think? Are you excited for the boarding mechanics? Have you picked one up? Did you think it was relatively cheap as like Star Citizen ships go for $100 or from $100? Is it something you're going to pick up in game because you're like, nah, I don't want to spend uh, real money on ships beyond just getting like a starter package? When do you think it's going to be flyable? Do you prefer it to some of the other types of dropship? Are you going to be using it as a dropship or a boarding ship or um, sort of a hybrid of the two? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Hello, it's me, the Queen. It's my Platinum Jubilee this year, and safety and security are paramount. Lots of people ask me why we need a Queen and Lord VPN. I defend the world with my scepter and crown, preventing those who would do it harm from carrying out their evil deeds, channeling the power of NordVPN.com forward slash board gamer and my divine right, I can overcome any obstacle, and so can you, by using the links below. To get great deals and better internet accessibility, security, and encryption acidosity. I don't know what that word was that I was trying to say, but I am the queen! I will never be defeated! Just like NordVPN.com sword slash board gamer. That wasn't the queen at all. It was me. It was Board Gamer. I've got to say this at the end, actually, now, just in case someone says I'm impersonating the Queen. Tried to get her, but she was too busy. She says, got like a busy weekend or something. Every month, we have a ship giveaway. For June, we're giving away the newly released RSI Scorpius Heavy Fighter. This is a two seater X Wing styled ship with a powerful loadout and a turret that can move from the top to the bottom of the ship, giving it a much better range of firing arcs. To be in for a chance of winning that, comment on any of my videos made during this month. More details in the description below. Please also consider supporting the channel by becoming a member with the join button under my videos, or becoming a Patreon, or even donating with thanks button or donations in the descriptions below. Star Citizen is getting more and more flesh on its bones, and there's always news coming out, and we love to cover that, and we're only able to do that because of all of you watching, and all the amazing people that go the extra mile. Whether it's commenting, sharing our videos, chucking money at us, or whatever, thank you so much. I hope you have a great June, please take care, and I'll see you in the verse.